Hey guys, Nobua here, and I would like to personally welcome you to tuning in to my brand new series called Sims ah. Idol Project. And yes, that sounds basically exactly like what it is, a mixture of Sims and School Idol Project. And to be more specific, the Sunshine version, so with Aqua. I recently got Sims 4 and uh, yeah, I've been getting pretty into it, so I decided to just Go ahead and see if I could create the Aqua Girls and you know I downloaded like a ton of mods and stuff for like different hair and eyes and skin and mouth and clothes and all that to best achieve the looks and stuff. And by the time I was finished I figured like you know what I could probably make a series about this like who knows maybe it'll be interesting maybe you guys would enjoy it. I might I might as well try right? <laughs> um, so yeah, right now for episode one, we're only going to be doing introductions to introduce you guys to the creations I have, to the different outfits because I really did put like a lot of work into this. Like literally there were some, there were some times where I was so into it, I stayed up until like 5 a.m. Like I spent more than one day working on all of these. So I'm really excited to be sharing them with you guys. So yeah, let's just go through all of the girls. And as you can see at the bottom though, um, we are currently missing Chica and that's not because I don't have her, it's because that this game basically locks you to 8 characters per household, so I had to use cheats to get her in there. And I realized that it deleted her actually because I was like playing around in the Sims editor and editing their clothes and it deleted her so I'm gonna have to add her back in again. And probably recreate her actually so I'll probably have um, a sped up video to show you guys um, how to I guess or how I created the girls in the game when I get to recreate Chica and add her back to the family but yeah without further ado let's just get right to it I don't want to make this video too long let's start with Mari so let's start with her face I feel like these mods that I downloaded are literally like a blessing from heaven because look at how beautiful she looks. They all have this quality. They all look this perfect. Whoever is S team or S club, I think they were called S club on mod the Sims or something. No, the Sims They make such amazing mods. I just want to put that out there for anyone who is maybe playing this game and is looking for good mods. S Club on mod this. Uh, why am I saying mod the Sims? S Club on the Sims resource. I think mod mod the Sims was a different website. I don't know, man. I, it was like 5 a.m. when I was on these websites. And I was like barely awake. I was just like, oh, this looks good. Download. I want this to download. Download it all. And I have so many mods that um I basically crash the game if I activate them all. So there you go. I've only had two days of having this game and. I'm already crashing it <laughs> with the amount of mods. Anyway, I'm getting carried away. At least Mari's face is beautiful and can distract you from my rambling. But yeah, so here is her casual outfit. And I kind of went for like a really soft and pretty look with Mari. I don't know, I just... Her sim just really evokes that quality <laughs> right now. So yeah, this is her casual everyday look. And let me just point out. I can't believe how accurately close I managed to get her hairstyle. Like this braid isn't even a part of the original hair, that's a hat. And this over here kind of re resembles the loop part she has in her hair, so I don't know. I'm like especially proud of this one because she's the one with probably like the weirdest hair, yet I still managed to kind of nail it, so go me, <laughs> I guess. So then next we have her formal look, which is a little bit more colorful, yet still as soft as the other one. And then we have her athletic look, which is a little bit racy, maybe even scandalous looking, but I don't know. It kind of really suits her sim, so I went for it, right? <laughs> I had to like make different outfits for nine different girls to try not to make them look the same, so I had to do that kind of stuff. And yeah, this is her pajama outfit. Um, funny thing is this top is actually from a swimsuit set, but it actually works as a pajama top here. And then we have her party outfit, which I love a lot. This one is inspired by um, the fact that she wears that long white dress in the anime, though this one doesn't have a white option, it's only yellow and black. And then a swimsuit. A swimsuit that I think looks just as energetic as she is. And then I guess we can go ahead and look at these. 
For like her life goals, I picked Jokestar, which I think is pretty fitting. Um, it's like you want to be the best comedian or something. I think that's what that life aspiration was. And then for her personality traits, I picked cheerful, goofball, and outgoing. Surprisingly, they weren't very like... There wasn't too many traits to choose from in Sims 3, I feel like, or Sims 4. Mm. I feel like Sims 3, was it, had a lot more, so that's kind of a little disappointing, but I'll live with it. So next we have Kanan, my best girl. So let's take a look at her face. I am so proud of all of their faces. I'll be zooming in on all of them because I feel like they all look amazing. I actually had a bit of trouble finding a ponytail hairstyle that had bangs like this because I know Kanan has like her bangs in the front, but I think it was all worth the struggle because this one looks really good. So this is her casual outfit and because Kanan is like a bit more of a sporty girl, I decided to leave her in pants, even though this is probably a lot fancier than what she would wear, but I made the third years really fancy in this. <laughs> I felt really passionate about them. And then this is her formal outfit, which I really love because it kind of evokes the feeling of a suit, yet it's still really feminine and I feel like that's perfect for Kanan. And then her athletic wear, I feel like out of everyone, Kanan would be the one to have like invested in the most like I don't know, the best quality athletic gear out there, so I tried to kind of evoke that feeling. And then her pajamas, which I actually think really look amazing with her hair. I kind of wish her color in Love Live wasn't green, it was something like bluish purple uh -huh. because that looks really good with her hair. And then we have her party outfit. Even though it's kind of like a girly dress outfit, I tried to make it less like you know, some sort of like Hollywood glam type of style because I feel like Kanan's not the type of girl to go for that. She'd be someone who'd go for like cute yet casually. And then we have her swimwear, which looks absolutely fantastic on her. All right, next we have Daya. And Daya, personally, like I absolutely love her outfit because I feel it looks really, really chic. And Daya's just always gives me a really chic vibe, even from that, um, it was I think a poster, the one where she's in her swimsuit. That looks so nice. I love her hair, I just wish I had like little clips or something to add in to complete it, but I think more or less I got a really accurate portrayal of Daya here. So next we have her formal outfit which is something more on like the elegant side with a nude shade. It's really easy to just put Daya in really dark clothes because of her black hair, so I tried to stray from that and give her like a variety of outfits. So here we have her athletic outfit and it's a matching tracksuit. And it kind of looks like the one they had in Love Live, like the Muse, um, like the Nico Rin Pana um, after school navigator type outfit, so. Yeah, I thought Daya would be the perfect girl to wear something that resembled that. And then we have her sleep outfit, which looks amazing with her hair. I absolutely love this combination. And then this is probably my favorite outfit that she has. Look at that. She slays in this outfit. I am extremely happy that I actually had the right combination to make her look this good. And then finally we have her swimsuit which was inspired by the fact um, that she wore that like, I don't know if it was her actual swimsuit or like a dress, but in the beach episode she had that like flowing white like swimsuit dress that she wore, so that's why I wanted to give her a white one piece to kind of like go off of that. So then next we have Johanne. And with Johanne over here I tried to go for like a gothic yet still kind of like cute and girly look at least for her casual outfit. I don't want to make her go from 1 to 100 too fast. And this has a very Adams Family vibe, at least in my opinion. It kind of reminds me of um, Morticia Adams. And this is her face. This is how she looks like up close. And as you can see, she has two buns. And that's because there's basically no hairstyle that exists that looks like this, but with one bun, so I think it's close enough. Next we have her athletic outfit. And I tried to make it still look pretty like 
edgy, I guess, and like gothy despite it being ah. an athletic outfit. I think I kind of succeeded with the details in the skirt and stuff. And then we have her sleepwear, which isn't as extra, I guess, as you might think Johannes would be, but it's really kind of like nice and it still really fits her image, especially like her red lips and then her red socks. And then we have her party outfit, which is a lot more on the gothic side, like it should be, because this is Johanne. And then we have her swimwear, which is probably my favorite outfit, especially because of the glasses. And I think this is supposed to be like a lingerie corset or something, but it looks good as a swimsuit, so I'm just gonna use it as a swimsuit. And then we have cute little Ruby, which killed me trying to get a hairstyle for her because there aren't many like fluffy and voluminous like pigtail hairstyles out there and that's the type you need to make Ruby because that's what her hair is like so I'm happy I finally found one and then for Ruby and Hanamaru's outfits I tried to keep them like cute and pure looking because that's basically how both of them are and then here's her form formal again I tried to make it look very like cute and adorable. This is her athletic outfit. And then we have her sleepwear outfit, which is so adorable. I wish I had a nightgown that looked like this. This is a really cute nightgown. And then for the party outfit though, I decided to spice it up a little bit, make it kind of look like a punk cute outfit, you know, because it is a party outfit after all. It kind of reminds me of, um, Siaron or Sharon, however you say it, their um, Genki Zenkai Day, I think the skirts. I don't know, it just reminds me of their outfit every time I look at it. And then her swimsuit, which is so cute. Alright, next we have Hanamaru. So here she is. And she just strikes me as the type of girl who'd wear sweaters a lot, so it's kind of like a cute wintry vibe right here. And then here is her formal outfit, which kind of reminds me of Azalea's first outfits, except instead of a red ribbon, they had brown ribbons. And then this is her exercise outfit. And then her sleeping outfit actually matches Ruby's. This is the cutest one I think I had, and I wanted to give it to them because they're like the right girls for this type of outfit. And then once again, I spiced up her um, her look too when it came to the party outfit, because it is a party outfit after all. And then for the swimsuit, I actually gave her a green one piece. Um, I guess when just looking through the different swimsuits, she just really looked good in it. <laughs> I don't know why, but she just kind of looks really cute in it, so I decided to keep it. Alright, so next we have Yo, and I just want to comment, like, I feel like the hair I found for her is literally, like, her exact hair, like, it's so perfect. I am really, really happy with this hair in particular. And then, uh -huh. with her outfit, I decided to go for something very, like, jockey and sporty, I feel like that's Yo's style. And then, bam, for formal, it's, like, <laughs> a complete turnaround in the outfit. She has, like, a with the sort of the sailor type colors going on but it's like really mature and beautiful looking formal outfit so i really love it she's got best of both ah. worlds and then we have her athletic outfit which i think her athletic outfit and rico's athletic outfits are probably my favorite and then her sleeping outfit <laughs> yes i realize it has a headband a flower headband but Come on, does it look so angelic together? She can sleep in a flower headband, it's okay. Do it for the fashion. <laughs> and then her party outfit, I went with something that's a bit more like... Comfortable yet still classy. I feel like Yo is definitely the type of girl who'd want to be comfortable. And then her swimsuit, which matches her hair and her eyes perfectly. There was no doubt about me putting this suit on her. And then we have Rico who has a very elegant yet minimalist sort of style in her everyday wear. And here is a close-up of her face. I think um, her hair is actually supposed to be like the other way. This ear is supposed to be tucked behind, but this is supposed to be on that side, but some things are kind of out of my control, so we'll get what we can get. 
And then her formal outfit looks really nice. Mm -hmm. It's professional yet elegant and modern. I really love it. And then, of course, my favorite part, her sports outfit, which looks like she just came right out of a K-pop video, doesn't she? I really like this one. And then her pajamas, which are surprisingly really cute for then just being like a shirt and socks and slippers. This one was really successful. I kind of surprised myself with how good this turned out. And then we have her party outfit, which kind of gives me like a bit of a Southern American vibe <laughs> for some reason. Maybe it's the boots and like the belt and the necklace. I don't know, but I like it. It does look good on her. And then finally her swimsuit. And that's everything. That's every girl I can show right now because it only lets me open eight at once, but we get to recreate Chica together in a short moment, so at least you guys will get to see the process of how you get to apply the skins and stuff. So yeah, in a few seconds, we'll be getting right to it.